Your brain is powerful. If you think you can't succeed in Lindy Hop, you won't. If you think you can, you will. It's just that simple. But that really doesn't make it any easier, does it? Well, I'm going to share with you a few specific reasons why you will never get good at swing dancing. I've seen many students from different countries who speak different languages and have various skill levels all fall into this trap. Avoid these and you'll be good. Number one, negative mindset. Stop thinking negatively about your dancing. Most people point out the obvious to their own detriment. They will say things like, everyone else has so much more experience than me. I don't have any rhythm. I don't have a dance background or someone to practice with, so on and so on. Though many of those things may be true, the wording of how they are phrased will hinder your capacity to see the opportunities hidden within your limitations. You have to accept the reality that everyone is growing through a process. We are all in school, but in different grades. Everyone is either producing good fruit or weeds. But either way, you have a choice in this matter and it starts with your mindset. So whatever you have to do, prioritize positivity. The second thing that will cripple your success in swing dancing is ignoring the process. See, the reality is, is everything that we see starts from something that we can't see. Good technique or bad technique, creative ideas or mediocre ones, they all start with a singular thought and are developed through the process. Whenever I was going through my initial process of learning how to swing dance, I applied this principle. For every hour of class instruction, I needed to dance at least two hours of social dancing in order to grasp the idea. This pattern of taking immediate action on what you are learning in a classroom will focus your perspective on doing instead of overthinking. When you start taking more action, you will realize success and failure both leave clues. If you neglect the process and just think showing up to class is going to fix everything, you're missing out on an opportunity to accelerate your learning curve. Another thing that will cripple your success in swing dancing is this, poor practice habits. As a kid, I've always heard the statement, Practice makes perfect, but I think there's a serious flaw here. You can practice the wrong thing for a long time and still be wrong. No matter how beautiful the facade of a building may be, eventually everything will crumble if the foundation is unstable. This is really amplified when learning ideas in a classroom and never applying them in order to test if they are universally applicable. One of your greatest challenges will be deciphering the difference between what is preference and what is fundamental. If you don't practice with this perspective, you will end up learning social dance ideas that work with a few select people instead of learning the fundamental elements allowing you to dance with the majority of people, regardless of what their style is. For more on that, check out the link in the description where I provide specific ways to know the difference. Now I'm going to tell you it is much easier to learn with a solid foundation than it is to unlearn counterproductive habits. So there you go. If you guys avoid these three areas, it will take you years instead of months to master swing dancing. If you like what you've seen today, make sure you like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel. As a gift, you will get access to my online swing dance school. I'll see you in class.